welcome to lesson three, Gary Owen Workshop. In this lesson, we're going to go through the entire uh, second line of the tune here. If you're enjoying these lessons, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know in the comments below. And this lesson, the, the second line, it, it starts out the exact same as the first half of the first line. So lesson one and two are repeated in, in the first half of the second line here. So we have those three C's separated by those embellishments and I've given the easy version uh, back in lesson two as well if you want to review that. After those three C's we're going to go, this is where things get a little bit different but, but only for a brief while and then we go back to those three B's which we already know about from uh, lesson three. So we're done the three C's. Here's the new bit. That's the new bit, uh, so with, without any embellishments, but we do, there's, there's no embellishments, there's just one written, and um, I like to do an E strike. What's written in the sheet music I've provided in the link below is a, is a G grace note, so maybe it's a 50-50 split. Maybe you can comment below if you like the grace note better or the E, e strike better. Uh, so I'm going to give you both options here. In any case, we finished those three C's. We're going to pop right, right up to E. So to go from C to E. From C to E, we have to drop the middle two fingers of the bottom hand. At the same time, we lift up the ring finger of the top hand and the pinky finger of the bottom hand. So lots of finger movement happening there. If you're comfortable with that transition, we're going to move on to our strike or grace note. We, the problem is we have two E's in a row. We have to separate them with something. I like to put a strike in this case. If you want to do the strike like me, you're just going to strike down with your ring finger. Covers the whole boom up again. A, a much easier strike than that B strike we're working on in previous lessons. So just that strike here. If you want to do a grace note, that's what's written in the sheet music. That's that's totally fine. It'll still separate those two E's. Often that G grace note happens on the downbeat, and in this case, it is the downbeat, the first beat of the bar, the first downbeat of the bar. So, so I think maybe that's why they've written it as a G grace note. But for me, I just kind of like how the E strike sounds in this case. Uh, either way, let's move on. So we have this short strike, short long, or so we have short strike, and after that strike it's a bit of a long one, so short strike, short long, so, so that after that strike it is a long one, so we have short long, short long, long, and that high A is even longer than the one previous, than the high G. Maybe that's a bit confusing, um, but in any case, in that sheet music, I, where the, the notes with little dots are a little bit longer than the notes with the little line, horizontal line on the tail. Those ones are a bit shorter, so you'll see what I'm talking about there. Um, so so let, me, let me just play that for you. Sometimes hearing it is the best way to find the timing. <laughs> Dum, bum, ba, da, dee. So hopefully the timing is starting to sink in a little bit and uh, let's talk about transitions. So after that strike or grace note, we go up, lift one finger up to the F and that F is quite short, then we go lift another finger up to the G. The G is a little bit longer than that F, but then we go up to high A and that high A transition, the thumb has to come off the back, thumb comes off the back and that ring finger of the top hand comes down and that high A is a longer, a little bit longer one again. So after that high A,
That high A, we go down to E. The thumb has to grab the hole. Top two fingers of the top hand grab the hole. That E is short, and then boom, we're going back to the C. If at the start of the video you practice that EC transition, ah, it paid off, because now we're working on it again, only backwards this time, E to C. So that's a good one to practice. Long, short, long. And all together here. Here we go from C to B. You don't have to do a grace note, but if you'd like, you could do a grace note top finger of the top hand. That, that grace note finger is going to lift. You do your transition by lifting up the pinky. So you have two fingers up for that B note. Top finger comes down. And let's put it all together. Sound familiar? Those are the exact same three Bs with the same embellishments that we worked on in lesson three. So again, if you want the easy version, you can just do a B strike followed by a B grace note. There's the easy version, here's the tougher version. That's the Tor Lewis version, and again, you have the grip version as well. So let's just I'll play through this lesson four chunk all together, and you can see it highlighted in the sheet music I've provided below. Um, on that link that gives you the sheet music where I've highlighted the lessons, all the lessons are accessible there. And uh, thanks so much for joining me so far. And I can't wait to work with you in lesson five. You'll see those red boxes that I've highlighted in the sheet music. That's where I got a neat variation to add in. We can make it a little bit of a challenging variation or an easy variation. And it's going to add so much more to that third line of the tune. So can't wait to go over that with you in the workshop. Uh, in any case, I'll just play through this lesson four chunk here once more. Until next time, happy piping.